Hello everyone and welcome back to the 2B2T Museum. In today's base tour we're touring a base by Lazy Knickers. This is what, from what I can tell. Anyway, let's get started with this lighthouse. <laughs> this will be a shorter video than the other one because this place is smaller, thankfully. Not sure how you were supposed to get up there. Anyway, we'll just come over here as well. So yeah, this looks like we're starting with the unfinished project parts. I don't know, maybe this place got found and wrecked. How far does this place go? Right, that looks like it's as far as they'd ever got. I'm not sure what that was going to be because that looks like it's the end of it. Probably a road to some new source of supplies or a new project. Anyway, let's see. I don't know what that was, some kind of gatehouse maybe. Anyway, let's get to the main show. come to think of it, I think there's another large base right along near here as well. Got this nice pyramid. I do get a feeling this uh, base was at least partially griefed before the world download happened. I mean I'm just going off what I can see here. Either that or that it just hasn't been repaired yet. Yeah, it does look like it's had a minor level of griefing. It's probably a crater by now, but knowing 2v2t. Or it may be just like this. I mean, there's always the lost city, as they call it, which, despite having been abandoned for nobody knows how long, has had only minimal griefing over the years. I like that one. Alright, that's a neat wall. Sandstone creepers. Okay, what is going on? I'm not sure what that does. I think a lot of the redstone is disabled. I mean, you wouldn't want people letting off the lag machines. And it looks like there's a fair bit underground as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, something big was going down in here. Don't know what, but it was. doesn't go anywhere anymore. There's something going on over there and I don't know where that is. Anyway, should we come out here and generally have a look around? Nice. I don't know what it was going to be, but it was probably going to be something entertaining. Any more half-finished stuff, or is it 
half griefed. Let's come over and have a look at this bit. stables. At least that's what I think it is. Looks like there was a bit of a shipyard um, here. Not sure if it was uh, meant to look like that or it's just an unfinished future project. As you can see the space does show signs of uh, griefing so you do have to wonder. Processing area for all the potatoes and that. You kept this farm. Nice. Okay, no idea what this was supposed to be, although I think it's not supposed to be flooded. I think something got a little broken. carrot farm hidden under the side and let's see what's this thing shroom house you know what else can you call it and this building here which looks like it was supposed to be pretty secure although it's completely open on one side I'm not sure what that was going to be for So yeah, this looks like it was going to be quite an interesting base. Probably cut short by griefing. I mean, it is near another one, so I don't know. Maybe that one got discovered, or this one got discovered. And as you can see, it is a bit trashed. Maybe anyway, one last bit over here, and we'll be done with this one. The giant tower with a glass top. Looks like the access was via the exterior. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the 2B2 Team Museum.